should probably get to bed. I mean, not together. Alex is sitting here like... Crickets. Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today we are playing the next part of Flirting with Danger. If you have not seen the last one, there'll be a little card somewhere for you to go to check it out, but... We stole our little boo's motorcycle after he, like, captured us when he was trying to rescue us. But our girl overheard some things, and she dipped and stole his motorcycle. Well, she gave it back when he tracked her down, and in all of this, she found a new roommate. This boy. Well, come to find out that this little person that we've been running from is his stepbrother, I want to say. And he's over there. Messy, messy, messy. Is he the brother or something else? They're related somehow, kind of, sort of. But we're going to see what happens. I hope you guys are excited. Of course, don't forget to go follow the amazing author Sandra. Her Instagram is linked in my description box down below. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let's start the drama. Is this some kind of sick game? Alex, I had no idea that you're my brother's new flatmate. You two know each other? Unfortunately. Ooh, can can I have a word with you in the kitchen? Sure, whatever. Oh, so this just turns so drum. I'll be right back. Little, little did our poor girl know. This, she was about to walk home to this. What did you do this time? Sleep with her, then I'll call back. Well, no, we did handcuff him to a metal bed, but that's besides the point. I try to save her from Carlos's game. I don't know why she doesn't like me. What? She's Cleo Moore's stepdaughter. Carlos's gang thought she'd pay a lot of cash to get her back. Aren't you in that gang? No, not anymore. I left, remember? Well, anyway, you have to stay away from her. Does someone have a little crush on her? Oh, I see Leo has a secret crush. I could totally help you out. I can be your wingman. I don't have a crush on her. I only met her yesterday, Leo. Leo, it's okay. Both of you have. I know you're talking about me. Oh, no. <laughs> she overheard. Crushes were just known. No, we're not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're talking about someone else. Not about you, that's for sure. Look, Kim want to sleep on the couch tonight. If you don't want him here, I can just kick him out. You make it sound like I'm some sort of criminal. <laughs> you are. Oh, right. Do you want me to kick him out? Because I will. Hmm. We're gonna let him stay because we, you know, the viewers, the readers know the truth. He's not bad. He can stay. What she really needs to do is talk about what she overheard that one girl saying. Because it wasn't true. He can stay as long as he keeps his, his, his distance. That's the whole reason why there's drama. Why are you talking about me as if I'm not here? It doesn't matter, I'll leave. Oh no, wouldn't want to interrupt anything between the two of you. Dude. Oh, oh my gosh, where are you going? Carl texted me that he has a place we can stay. <clears throat> are you sure? Positive. Okay, so he's leaving. Later, bro. And Alex... I am so sorry. There's no excuse for him. It's fine. What did he mean when he said he didn't want to interrupt anything? Okay, so she didn't hear. Nothing. He was just joking around. Anyway, we should probably get to bed. I mean, not together. Alex is sitting here like... Crickets. I mean, it's getting late. Yeah. Good night, then. Okay, so... Um, can this dude leave? He is so tired he looks tired he is tired boo boo she is not worth anything to cleo you're not gonna get your ransom money she's not gonna pay up let it go we were outnumbered is that girl really worth all this trouble no this dude's an idiot if she wasn't keen wouldn't have snatched her in the first place i'm sure she's worth a lot I'm going to take everything away from him. No, 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 Sweaty. Every time the villain says this, it backfires, and then their entire life and career is ruined. Rightfully so. But if they would just stay in their little villain lane and just do them, they could go on. But they never do. No one leaves this gang and then go behind my back, and it's going to be your downfall, Carlos. You should have sat there and ate your food. I'll make him pay. Should we kill him if we get the chance? No, save him for me. I want to see him begging until his last breath. 
Uh, okay, nice place. Yeah, my cousin owns it. He's here. Nah, he's in jail. Okay, what happened to that girl? She can take care of herself. She made that very clear. I've heard that Carlos is still looking for her. Damn it. What? I just can't seem to let her go. I see. What? You fancy her. Can has a crush. Who's fancying who? Oh, look who it is. It's Miss Cindy who caused the drama in the first place. I think Kian has a soft spot for Alex. I bet Cindy's low-key jealous. I don't have a soft spot for her. That's ridiculous. He'd never go for someone like her. Come on, she handcuffed you your bed, then stole your bike. The Kian I know wouldn't let anyone get away with that. Leave him alone, Carl. He doesn't like her. Fine, I'll drop it. I, for one, think it's nice that she's not around anymore. Girl, what did she ever do to you? We didn't even interact with you. Like, what's the deal, Cindy? She was an, such an annoying little brat. I'm going for a ride. But it's raining outside. Girl, you and your tired bags that no one cares about, get out. You pack them up and leave. Finally closing time. Uh-oh, where's Alexandra Moore? Oh no, not our poor friend. Oh, who are you? Tell me where I can find Alexandra Moore and I won't kill you. I feel so bad. Should I ask her? I'm just gonna do it. What's he gonna ask? I'm Alex? Hey, Leo. I didn't wake you, did I? No, it's fine. I was awake. So what's up? I'm making a sandwich and I thought you might be hungry. Yeah, I could eat something. Are you sure this is the right address? It better be. I hope they- I hope she's okay. I'm gonna be so worried for her. That was delicious. Thank you. And thank you for being so nice to me. It's been a long time since I felt this safe. Well, you're about to feel really unsafe here in a few minutes. No problem. I'm glad you feel that way, Alex. I know we haven't known each other that long, but... Oh no, I think you're really great. I kind of like you too. Really? It must be Can. I'll go and tell him to leave. Oh no, please. I'm so nervous. Who are you? Your worst nightmare. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I feel awful. He did not ask for any of this. Alex, run. Okay, so our girlie has to go. Is she going to jump out the window? I'm hoping there's a fire escape right there. Open the door, little girl. We're not going to hurt you. Well, maybe only a little bit. Let's just break the door down. Oh, I need to get out of here. Okay, yeah, I was gonna- Ooh, I hope there's a fire escape. Where else is she gonna go? Where did she go? The window. Oh, no, she jumped. Oh my gosh, I hope she's okay. But her legs are okay. She's running. They're after Alex, you have to help her. Please, I beg you. It's- uh, I, feel, I feel bad for Leo in this story. He did nothing. I mean, neither did Alex. Like, they did nothing, and they are so messed up in this world. Quick, get on my bike. Is she gonna do it? I don't know if I can trust you. Stop. Stop. I'm so tired of her acting so extra like this. You don't have any choice right now. If they wanted to hand you over, they would've. Girl needs to stop and think about what's going on. Kian jumped on the motorbike with me, and we drove away. We were way over the speed limit and I held on to him as tight as I could. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. I, I want Leo. <laughs> like, he and sweet, but like, I have a soft spot for Leo. He's so nice. Uh, yeah. You sure? Because if you bury your nails any deeper into my chest, you'll rip my shirt apart. Suddenly, the roar of motorbikes behind got louder. They're gaining on us. Hold on tight. The rain was pouring down and I was amazed that Kian could even see the road ahead of us. The roads were slippery and I could feel the motorcycle start to lose its grip on the road. Um, Kian seemed to have lost control of the bike. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Jump, we're gonna crash. Kian grabbed my arm and we jumped. My heart was pounding in my chest and my whole body was shaking. It may have been the adrenaline, it may have been the rain, but in that moment I felt no pain. I felt no fear. I felt alive. We tumbled down. Okay, so that's not the word I would have chosen, but she feels what she feels. We tumbled over the edge. Everything was spinning and I landed on something hard. Is it Kian? Well, I, yeah. Is he okay? I opened my eyes and saw that he had landed right on top of Kian. I was so shocked that it was hard for me to speak. <laughs> had I really just jumped off a motorcycle? Um, he's literally bleeding. I rolled off him and sat on the wet ground beside him. Are you alright? I think so. 
you're bleeding. It's just a scratch. It could have been way worse. Okay, I I thought he had like, his chest was ripped and shredded. We need to move before they start looking for us. Do you think you can stand up? I tried to move a little, but my body was stiff and I felt a sharp pain in my ankle. I think I've hurt my ankle. I'll help you up. Okay, because y'all need to get a move on. Our place isn't far from here. Do you want me to carry you? I can't go back to being your prisoner. You've never been my prisoner, Alex. I promised Leo that I'd take care of you. What? He's the one who rang me to save you from Carlos's men. You're probably going to have to stay with us for a while. You have to be kidding me. They know where you live. They won't give up that easily. You're staying with us until you find somewhere else. I'm doing this to save you. I'm not forcing you. You're more than welcome to leave. I never asked for any of this. Okay, sis. We Pause, 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 pause. I know you never asked for any of this. I know you didn't. You don't deserve to be in this predicament. You did nothing. I feel very bad for her. But if she cops one more attitude with him when all he's tried to do is save her life, I'm done. I just want to be normal, go with the normal life. Ouch, my ankle. Look for what it's worth. I'm sorry. Okay, so she would just get me out of here. Happy to. <laughs> oh, I have such mixed feelings. She has every right to be angry about the situation she's in, but also, she could be like, maybe that's, I guess in this situation, it's different. Like, you, you have all different feelings. I guess you're like an outsider just reading a story. It's so easy to say, like, one thing when we're not in the predicament. Okay, so well, she's welcome home. <sighs> Our new place was ruined right after I think Leo was going to ask her on a date or something, which is so heartbreaking because he's he's very nice. And I kind of like the two of them together, not even going to lie. I feel very bad for him. I feel the most bad. Well, I feel bad for Alex because even though I had my little moment with her a few minutes ago, she doesn't deserve to be in this situation. She did nothing and all these people are after her and her whole life is being turned upside down because of these people want to ransom. That's never going to happen. It's... It's just never going to happen, but they think it is. They're delusional. But <laughs> I, w- I was feeling a little bad for Kian because that we, the readers, know Kian genuinely likes her and wants to save her, whereas she thinks different. So I can't really blame her. And I feel bad for our friend. She was held up at the store. These poor other care. All these poor people are getting dragged into this hot mess. But you know what? We love to watch it. <laughs> I feel very bad for them, but you know, we love messy. We love watching the messy, not in our lives. We love our clean, clean our lives, messy their lives in video games, Stan. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Who do you like more, Kian or Leo? I want to know. Of course, go follow the amazing author, Sandra. The link to her Instagram is in my description box down below. And before we go, the shout outs. Special shout out to I Drink Red, Antonia Clark, and Daphne Elmeray. Thank you so much for your love and support. It means the absolute world to me. And thank you to everyone for your support. It means so much to me. I hope to see you all in the next one. I hope everyone is doing okay and I'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching as always. Bye everyone. I'm so, I'm so